everyone, my name is Lexi and today we will be talking about A Touch of Whimsy's July and August book picks. Do you know who I feel like when I'm in these overalls? Miss Honey. Let's take a moment to really appreciate Miss Honey from Matilda. She is everything I aspire to be in my life. She has that beautiful cottagecore aesthetic. We love it so much, girl, yes. She has tea, for God's sakes, like as a normal everyday occurrence, which we really love in like that fancy silverware teacup stuff. I don't know what it, it's called. It's called a teapot, you idiot. I just really want to be Miss Honey when I grow up. <laughs> I love Miss Honey so much. Every time I wear overalls, I think of Matilda and her pancakes and Miss Honey and picnics in the park and I'm just like, someday, maybe, possibly, that could be my life. If not, I'll just, I'll just read Matilda. Hello friends, my name is Lexi and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to see you here. Today is going to be hopefully a pretty brief video all about the book club book selection for the next couple of months. Let me get some coffee first. Hmm. Okay, so June's selection was Howl's Moving Castle and this is by Diana Wynne Jones and I just finished this this last Monday, tabbed it up, wrote inside it, absolutely loved it. I know that I should probably like build suspense, like did she love it? Did she hate it? Guess what? I loved it. <laughs> I really loved it. I can't wait to talk about it for the live show. I will link down below the live show when we are finished with it, but I believe this video is actually gonna go up the same day the live show is. So, the live show for this is tonight at seven o'clock, and I am very excited on my channel. It's our very first live show. Come over and say hi. Like, it's not all gonna be spoilers. We're gonna try to do the first half of the live show spoiler free. We're gonna talk about some other stuff as well. And then we can also compare the movie, which we saw, because we did a watch along with everyone. So it's gonna be a really, really fun time. So let's go ahead and talk about July. So as you guys know, July's selection is Natalie Babbitt's Tuck Ever lasting which is a classic middle grade this is about Winnie Foster who discovers a spring in her backyard forest and the spring is guarded by this mysterious beautiful boy who says that if she drinks from the spring she will live forever and we kind of see her summer with the tucks and her decision of will she drink from the spring or will she not so I'm really really excited go ahead and grab this if you can for July we will be talking about this at the end of July and for for this book, we are actually doing an activity with our book club, which I am so excited about, and that is we are going to be doing a 24-hour slumber party. And I have the dates right next to me in my handy dandy notebook. Just call me Steve from Blue's Clues. Um Yes. Okay, so we're actually doing the 24-hour athon on July 18th, but we're starting at Friday the 17th at midnight. Midnight wherever you are on Friday, like if you don't want to sync it up with us, it's just midnight Friday 17th all the way until Saturday the 18th at midnight for whatever time zone you're in. So it'll start at different times for everyone. And I am so excited to be doing that. I've been wanting to do a 24-hour athon slumber party with my subscribers for quite a long time now. We are going to try baking stuff. We are going to do like a little bit of a virtual ice cream party. Kaylin and I are doing Instagram lives that day and we are all going to try to read this very short book during our slumber party. But of course you don't have to. You can read whatever middle grade or book that you would like if you want to participate with us. Why is there dog hair on this book? So yeah, that is July's book club pick right there. And then I'm really excited to talk about August selection because August we are doing a back to school theme, which I think is gonna be kind of fun. And so we are going to be reading the very first book in the School of Good and Evil series which I don't have. So just pretend this is the first book. I think this is like the second. This might even be not the second, I don't know. So The School of Good and Evil is all about Agatha and Sophie who are best friends. And Sophie really wants to be a princess and Agatha relates more to wanting to be a witch, but really all she wants is to remain Sophie's best friend. They are both kidnapped and delivered to The School of Good and Evil, but Sophie, has to go to the bad school where she has to learn how to be a dark sorceress. And then Agatha has to go to the school of good and learn how to be a princess. And it's 
a really interesting take. I think that it has a lot of really great themes. I also feel like this book really does friendship super, super well, and I feel like it was really funny. I read this a long time ago. I read it back when I was in college, so I don't know if my feelings for it will change, but the first time I read it, I really, really liked it. So I think it's gonna be a fun selection for August. And then our activity, because we always do an activity with every single book, is going to be that we are going to do a back to school brunch for the live show. So we're gonna have like a breakfast in bed live show. I'm gonna make waffles. It's gonna be a good time. But if you wanna go to that live show that's gonna be at the end of August and we are going to be sharing our favorite back to school memories and some really tragic memories actually from school. Uh, I was an embarrassing kid, okay? But I'm really excited. It's gonna be super, super fun. So plan on breakfast in bed for that live show during August and it'll be really, really, really fun. Also, just a heads up, we picked a super short book in July and our slumber party is going to be not quite at the end. You might want to get a head start on these books because I don't remember how many pages the first one is, but they're pretty lengthy books. We're also going to be doing a watch along for our 24 hour -a slumber party where we watch this movie, but Thankfully, it is on Disney Plus, so if you have an account, you can just log into Disney Plus, but if you don't have an account, you can either do one of two things. A, you can sign up for a free trial and watch the movie, um, or B, I believe Disney has things called watch-alongs, which means I can just give people a code and we can all watch it together, so I don't think you're gonna have to worry about renting the movie at all. But yeah, those are the selection picks for July and August. I'm really, really excited about what we are picking but also I would really like your help. Kaylin and I like to plan everything in advance so that we can tell you different books and fall is coming, which thank God because I really love fall and I'm really, really, really excited for fall. But we wanna really make sure that we are getting to books that you really like. So please do me a favor and if you have any suggestions, any new release middle grades that you really wanna get to this fall, any fall selections that you think are gonna be great, they're gonna be creepy or scary or perfectly fall atmospheric, let me know down in the comments below and I will go ahead and put together a list and we might do a survey to try to figure out what book you guys really want to read for those spooky autumn months. Okay, you guys, super quick video. I hope that is okay with you. I'm so excited for the live show tonight at seven. I hope I see you there, and I hope I see you for the next couple selection picks as well. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but all of the books that we have been selecting are all backlist titles. We are very sensitive to the fact that the pandemic is making new releases harder to get to than normal. That is why some of these titles are a little bit older. We do want to incorporate some newer releases as well, but we're just trying to be sensitive to everything that's happening in the world because it's it's just a very different looking world in 2020, that's for sure. Listed down in the comments below are going to be links so that you can buy all of these books. I guess that is all for now, book lovers. So until next time, you guys, keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. You know that I'ma keep it cool. With you, I feel like breaking rules. On the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge, cleaning out With us it's all or nothing